A calm but terribly cold night may have you enjoying the view outside from the comfort of your home as temperatures dip dangerously low. Thanks for joining us after the game. I'm Krista Baim. A number of churches around the valley are closing their doors tomorrow due to the wind chill warning. If you do choose to head out anywhere, make sure and have that winter survival kit ready to go. Meteorologist Justin Fanfarelli joins us right away tonight. And Justin, how cold can we expect to get for the rest of our weekend? And thank you, Krista. Good evening, everybody. Well, the coldest air during the overnight period, we are starting to approach our low, and that will be somewhere uh, close to 25 below zero. We're at 17 below zero right now at Fargo, Detroit Lakes, Crook Crookston, and Thief River Falls, and up toward Langdon. 14 below zero at Grand Forks and 11 below at Valley City. And add in that wind out there, everybody uh, mostly between 30 and 40 below zero. So dangerous cold out there. And when wind chills do get close to 50 below zero, and that's where they are going to be tonight. We're in that wind chill warning until noon on Sunday for our entire viewing area. Now, if you have any plans tonight, dangerous uh, wind chills and temperatures out there, we will see an increase in the clouds, and that'll help us just a little. But temperatures close to 20 below below zero as we go through the overnight period and not rebounding much for the day tomorrow. But the good news is there is a warm up in store. We'll get to that in that seven day forecast coming up later in the newscast. The bitterly cold became a concern for Cass County deputies as they searched for a man who was stranded on a rural road in Enderlin. 45 year old Daniel Jason Kelder was arrested on a warrant after he first refused help from law enforcement when he became stuck on the rural road covered in snow. A friend tried to locate him first, but was unsuccessful. Authorities got involved, and by using their squad car lights, were able to communicate with Kelder and find him. He refused medical attention, but was then arrested on a warrant for probation revocation for failing to register as a sex offender. If you choose to hit the road and bear the cold, a reminder that those roads are still icy out there. A car heading east on 12th Avenue North in Fargo around 11 this morning hit a patch of ice and went into the oncoming lane of traffic, causing this accident. The driver of the westbound car was extricated by the fire department. They were taken by ambulance to a hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. In the first few weeks of the new year, new goals are made to live a healthier life. And recovery centers across Fargo-Moorhead have seen a spike in patients. An agency director and registered nurse at First Step Recovery in Fargo says that he sees a jump in clients in the new year because of the seasonal depression of winter, resolutions to change, or family gatherings. First Step Recovery says it's the same pattern year after year. A lot of times there's, there's extra drinking going on during the holidays. There are family get-togethers. There's office get-togethers. Believe it or not, uh, we always see a few people every year that come to us as a result of bad behavior at the office party because they'd had way too much to drink. Kaspari hopes by sending out this message that more people will seek help and treatment. There's a number on your screen here coming up that right now that you can call if you or someone you know is looking for help. A frustrating situation for people living in a South Fargo neighborhood as they continue to have problems getting their mail. For the last several months, there have been problems USPS is having with a local contractor. Valley News Team's Cor Cornelius Hawker joins us tonight with more on this issue in Woodhaven. Cornelius? Krista, it's been more than a month since our first report about the mail mix-up problems in the Woodhaven development. A community Facebook page is filled with people frustrated as mail continues to be delivered to wrong addresses or not delivered at all. This person posting they received seven pieces of wrong mail. The snow and frigid temperatures are only making the situation worse. One day I actually got three people's mail in my mailbox and it was the three houses down from us. Otherwise, I haven't noticed my mail being missing. I've noticed people walking around handing out mail, like just opening the mailboxes randomly and putting mail in there, which you're not supposed to do, but you have to deliver it somehow. I contacted the Postal Service about this issue in Woodhaven, and they released a statement saying they hope to soon be providing the type of service their customers deserve and, and expect. However, a lot of people are worried because in December it was lost Christmas cards, but in January it could end up being lost tax forms with confiden confidential information. Krista? All right, thank you, Cornelius. The full statement from USPS is on our website, valleynewslive.com.
And our below zero temperatures kept many indoors today, including a packed house at the Fargo Dome for the Valley Women's Expo. The first event of its kind in the Valley was the perfect weekend for women to relax and focus on themselves. I got my nails done, got some uh, free cupcakes, some uh, wine samples, all that good stuff. So yeah, we're having a good time. The eyelashes and the fingernails. Um, we also bought pillows today. Um, the wine sampling and the uh, cupcakes <laughs> were the best. Definitely delicious. We have plenty of photos of all the fun on our Facebook page. And of course, we'd love to see the pictures you took at the expo, so be sure and share us with them there too.